Hey guys, Kevin from Subi Speed. We recently just did an overview video on Cobb's Flex Fuel Kit for the 2015 WX, and we've gotten a few requests to do an install video, so that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Now the first thing we're gonna wanna do is relieve the fuel pressure that's built up inside the system. Chances are you've been driving this car, so there's quite a bit of pressure built up inside, probably around 1,000 PSI. So if we don't relieve that pressure and we go to remove your fuel line, you're gonna create quite a bit of a mess for yourself. So the first step in removing that fuel pressure is going to be removing your fuel pump fuse that's located in this fuse box in your engine bay. So go ahead and pop that open and we're going to be looking for the 15 amp fuse on the lower right hand side. If you aren't sure exactly which fuse it is, look on the back of your fuse box cover. Go ahead and pull the fuel pump fuse and then we can hop in the car. Once the fuse is pulled, you're gonna to wanna to set up the fuel pressure gauge on your access port so we can monitor it while we start the car and we'll see it go into the tens and then eventually your car will shut off. Now, if your car doesn't wanna start with the fuse pulled, you're gonna to need to reinstall the fuse, start your car and pull the fuse while your car is running. Once the fuel pressure is relieved, we can hop outside and start working on getting your battery removed. Removing your battery is pretty self-explanatory. Just loosen the two 10 millimeter bolts that are holding the battery stay in place, then you can disconnect the negative and positive battery terminals and pull your battery. Before you remove your fuel lines, you're gonna to wanna to grab a rag or two just in case some fuel spills out. You're gonna to wanna to take a flathead screwdriver and pry up on the blue tabs and that will release the fuel line and you'll be able to pull it out. On this section here, there's also a black clip that's holding the fuel line in place. You'll need to pop that off as well. The other end of the fuel line is located next to the brake fluid reservoir. Once you have that disconnected, you can pull the line out. Now that your OEM fuel line is removed, we can pre-assemble the sensor with the new fuel lines. The longer line is gonna go on the right side of the sensor. And the shorter one's gonna go on the left. To install the sensor, you're gonna to want to remove the three 10 millimeter bolts that are holding your fuse box in place. Once you have those removed, you're gonna to wanna to slide the mounting bracket for the sensor behind this plastic tab. and then you can remount all, the, all three of those bolts. You do wanna take your time though to make sure you don't cross thread these because it is a little bit tricky. Once you have that sensor mounted, we can route the fuel lines. The longer line is gonna go back towards your firewall. And the short line is gonna go towards the engine. Next step is gonna be mounting your module in this intercooler bracket location here. So go ahead and remove that bolt and we're gonna be using the bolt that Cobb supplies. 
You're gonna want to route all the wiring down first. All the wiring is labeled so you know exactly where everything goes. The O2 sensor connectors go straight down towards your J-pipe. And we do have TGV deletes on this car. So we're only gonna be plugging in one of the TGV connectors. We have the other one taped off. If you don't have TGV deletes, you don't have to worry about that. You'll be connecting both of those TGV connectors. We're just gonna to toss these down there and we'll tidy them, tidy them up in a bit. Once you've mounted your module, we can connect all the connectors to the correct position. This brown one here is gonna go directly to the sensor. You wanna make sure you hear that audible click when you push these in to make sure they're locked into place. Now we can go down to the bottom to install the O2 sensor connectors. Now before you're gonna be able to reach the O2 sensor on your J-pipe, you're gonna to need to take off the plastic splash guard that's underneath your car. I believe that's just a couple clips and maybe two bolts. Once you get down there, you're gonna be looking for this green connection right here. Go ahead and disconnect that, and then you can connect your module connectors. Now you're gonna have quite a bit of slack on here. You're gonna pull this back up once we get back on top of the car, and then we will zip tie and tidy this up to make sure it's not just hanging down here. Once you have everything installed and plugged in, you wanna tidy up that wiring with some zip ties, but make sure there's enough slack so that when there is movement, there's not too much tension on those wires. Then you can put everything back together, put the battery back, the fuse to your fuel pump, and then you can start her up and check for any leaks or anything out of the ordinary. But if everything's good to go, you're ready to get a tune. So if you're ready to pick up this kit for yourself, go and click on the top right-hand corner of the video. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to email us sales at subispeed.com or give us a ring 888-885-2002 and as always don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on your WRX SCI BRZ or Forester. Remember to hit that subscribe button for more 2015 WRX and SCI videos if you haven't already let us know in the comment section down below what other videos you'd like to see. Click that SubiSpeed logo down there to visit our website and connect with us through Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We love seeing your guys' installs and projects that you're working on, so feel free to share those. Also, add us on Snapchat by scanning that ghost over there to see what kind of shenanigans we're up to in the shop or when we're out on a trip. And if you haven't already done so, check out our latest videos. Till next time, guys.